So, Natasha, many of us, of course, work full time, but when it comes to the weekend, it's time to get active. And somehow, my diet of pizza and beer is not cutting it anymore. My energy levels drop. Can you help me? Sure. Like you said, it's so difficult to find the time to work out during the week. So the weekend is usually the time where we can be active and get outside. And it's really important to fuel our bodies, um, especially with protein, right? Mm. So protein is a macronutrient, meaning that our bodies need a lot of it in order to function properly. Um, so it's generally recommended anywhere from 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal. So that can be a serving of fish or plant-based proteins like chicken chickpeas or other legumes. And if we don't get enough protein, we can really start to feel fatigue and muscle loss and longer recovery times after working out. Uh, another thing could be a protein powder supplement. Um, that could be a nice way to fill in those nutrient gaps. Um, there's so many protein powder supplements on the market, but whey is a great option. So you want to look for something that's grass fed and non GMO source. And whey can help give that feeling of fullness as well as can help with healthy blood glucose levels and cholesterol levels as well. So that's a great option to help fill in those nutrient gaps. Yeah, I get the protein thing, because obviously you want to at least stay feeling full, right? You don't want to be craving a whole bunch of foods and protein does tend to have the ability to do that. But I continually see when you guys send out your press releases, collagen popping up. And I only knew collagen as a lip filler, but you keep telling me it's a whole bunch more or you're telling me I need to get my lips done. One of the two. <laughs> You're right. I mean, we think of collagen as a beauty supplement, right? Yeah. With fine lines and wrinkles, and it is that. But there's also a lot of research around collagen and muscle recovery and joint pain. Um, so collagen is a really interesting one to add into our diets when we're more active. So collagen is found in connective tissue of animals. So fish, bone broth could be a great source of collagen. Again, supplements could be a great option. If you're looking for a supplement, um, a protein supplement, look for one that also has collagen in it to get two for one. And when you're thinking of adding more collagen into your diet, think of vitamin C. So vitamin C is essential for collagen synthesis. So when we add in um, citrus and berries and peppers and things like this, we're actually helping our bodies to produce more collagen. And that can help with that muscle recovery after a workout. So we talked a bit about protein already, but a lot of people, what they tend to do when they want to lose weight or diet is trim the fat, but fat is very important to our diets. Uh, is there, how much are we actually supposed to have? Yeah, so fat is an interesting one and gets a little bit of a bad rap, can be a bit of a confusing topic. Um, but I think we're all warming up a little bit more to healthy fats these days. So we're looking at olive oil and nuts and seeds and avocados. And uh, fat's really important as an energy source. It's also really important because a lot of vitamins are fat soluble. So vitamins A and D, E and K, these are fat soluble vitamins, meaning they actually need fat to be absorbed properly. Um, so we need fats in our diet. And another interesting one is medium chain triglycerides, so MCTs. Um, this can naturally be found in coconut oil as well as supplements. Um, and it's an interesting one because it's absorbed directly from the blood. It's transported into the liver and it's an instant source of energy. So it's not stored as fat in our cells. Um, so it's a really interesting one to keep on your radar, the MCTs. Now, so we've kind of been in the world of, of meats and healthy fats, of course, you can get from nuts and vegetables as well. But as far as veggies go, I was always told when I was growing up, you want to have different colors on your plate. And that, you know what, that's not just an old wives tale. Now I'm told it's actually true, right? You do want colorful foods. Why is that? For sure. It's never a bad idea to eat the rainbow, especially when we're being more active. Um, our bodies are undergoing oxidative stress. So we want to be sure that we will intake antioxidants. So antioxidant rich foods can be like red cabbage and watermelon and carrots and peppers. Um, these sorts of foods have lots of antioxidants that can fuel our bodies and, and help combat that oxidative stress. They also have more vitamin C in it. And as we talked about, Vitamin C is important for collagen synthesis and collagen is important for muscle recovery. So never a bad idea to add more colorful fruits and vegetables into your diet. And finally, you know, I talked earlier about my steady diet of 
uh, beer and pizza. Beer is 98% water, I believe, maybe 97. I do know water is important, but I'm told once you mix it, it's no good. <laughs> yeah, water is so important. I mean, yes, we're all socializing more, especially in the summer with our barbecues. And, uh, you know, you tend to want to drink a little bit more of those cocktails. And that's okay. Enjoy yourself. But you also want to make sure you're drinking a lot of water to be properly hydrated during the week so that on the weekends when you're more active, your body is fueled and hydrated and has what it needs for those athletic adventures. Natasha, appreciate your time. And uh, I mean, good luck of eating everything that's in front of you there because that's more than a weekend's worth of food. It's true. I have a lot of good things here.